Dean and Frank knew one another for 20 years, 25 years before, you know, Dean ever went on his own television show. Before Dean ever worked with Jerry, he was a friend of Frank's. Knew Frank, hung up with Frank, played baseball with Frank. Sometimes it was at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. They were great friends. They were, of course, you know, notorious for being the original Rat Pack. It was, what was it, Frank and Dean and Sammy Davis and, and Peter Lawford and, and Joey Bishop. But when you really stop to think about it, the Rat Pack is really the two guys. It's, it's Frank and Dean. The other guys were kind of, they filled in. Sammy was wonderful. But it was really the, the, the two guys that made it work. And they felt so comfortable together. And when you watch some of the, you know, some of the scenes, the sketches that the two guys do, uh, the, the computer dating sketch, which is fun, and ad lib for the most part, except for a few lines of dialogue, uh, and the way they work together, it's, it's just an absolute treat to see them together. Hey, Frank, it's New Year's Eve. We should do something. Why don't we go to my place? I hear there's a heck of a party going on over there. <laughs> Well, I learned my lesson last year with you and your parties. What do you wow. mean, learned your lesson? Hey. I want you to know that that party cost me $300 just for the ice sculpture of Raquel Welch. <laughs> I know, my lips were frostbitten for a week. <laughs> yes, last Frank gave a big party at his hotel suite. You won't believe what happened. I will. <laughs> Hey, what kind of party was that? You, me, 87 girls, and only two pounds of potato salad. <laughs> yeah, but I noticed you touched everything but the potato salad. I gotta admit, Frank, you really swing. Oh, I don't lead such a wild life. You don't lead a wild life? Huh? But how come every priest in town is drawing lots to see who takes your confession? <laughs> Up the bed. We gotta get some sleep. Okay. Let's get this out of here. Well, the least you can do is knock. Hey, I thought that women only looked like that when they got up in the morning. Hey, wait a minute. Haven't I seen you two someplace before? Now don't tell me. Let me guess. Are you two Italian? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You from California? That's right. You both on television? Yeah. Ah, now I know who you are. Ernest and Julio Gallo. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. You're this is a party breaking up. You'll have to leave. That's all. Well, That's a friend of yours. I hope she doesn't have a sister. <laughs> Boy, listen, after that, I need a drink. Yeah. <laughs> now, come on, will you please, lady? Listen, cover up the parakeet. I think there's going to be an ugly scene. <laughs> what a scandal there would be if my girlfriends knew that I was locked in a room with Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin, my whole reputation would be sullied. <laughs> my name would be dragged through the mud. My whole life would be ruined. Oh, well. Que <laughs> <laughs> sera, sera! <laughs> All right, pal of mine, get the key. I wouldn't go in there with a safari. <laughs> Yes. If there's one thing that turns me on, it's a 
whole blooded Italian singer. That proves what I always said, pal. What's that? There's never a cop around when you need one. I know. I hope she doesn't come back. I think I hurt myself. He breaks me. Please, it's been a wonderful evening. Let's not spoil it. Listen, I'm trying to save something till I after I get married. I didn't know you had anything left. Oh, shut up. Uh, oh, no. Oh, that's for you in there. Who's that? Oh, that's my husband. <laughs> with the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay? Well, hey, <laughs> hey, don't stand there. Do something, will you, please? Don't come in. We're not decent. Oh, that's great. That's great. And I used to think he was dumb. <laughs> Doris, come on home now. You know I got things to wash out. We got people coming over. Yes, I thought you said he was with the Green Bay Packers. He 